drama unfolded where invites are coming in from multiple Discord servers, so other people subscribing to other people's Discord things, and things just weren't mapping up together. So we built that OAuth system, and that's working. Got our first meeting coming up uh, at a cafe in Flatiron. That'd be cool. This week, we are implementing the full Slack integration. So let's get to the office. Let's go. Dev club going wild, of course. We've got like another 30 people that jumped in over the weekend, woo! Don't take advantage of the sun while you can in New York. You know they put vitamin D in like all the milk here? Because people don't get enough sun. Isn't that wild? That's cool. No matter how ridiculously difficult something is and you're under pressure, that you can just get it done if you do it step by step by step, which is something I ironically always say. You just gotta break down the big tasks into small tasks. I actually did hear that at one point you went, go through the step by step, like you're like telling yourself what you're talking about. Yeah, well I, I had to. I was like definitely not believing I could even get it done in time just because I got some big creators on boarding today. I was just like, nah, this is gonna mess with their integration. But now everything's like better than it's ever been. It actually can't break now, which is so sick. It's, just, it's such a beautiful system now. What's the bet Parve's in already though? Doesn't matter what time you come in, Parve will be here before Every you. Every video is. My first meeting is in 25 minutes, and then I've got a block of like four or five hours, and then we can come back in the afternoon, do more meetings. So yeah, coding from 9.15 to one. Sorry. So just got back, good angel meeting. Uh, he's gonna chuck some money in, so that's great. Better for sub. Um, and we're just gonna go nuts today. We've got the Slack integration. We've got the WhatsApp integration. Gonna prioritize the Slack. Uh, we've actually got an onboarding for a big Discord creator today as well. And we've also got another one for tomorrow for a Spanish Discord creator. So it's all happening this week. Monday morning, 20 past nine. Productive already, not bad. You know, I need some water. That's what we need, the, the, the juice of the gods. awesome day of refactoring. Like I've got a tiny bit of downtime right now where I'm like, you know what, why don't I put in some groundwork right here and just like refactor the crap out of this edit page because historically, and this is so unlike me, because I've been working so fast trying to meet all these deadlines, trying to get all this stuff done. I've had this file, it's had like 1500 to 2000 lines, like in one place, which is just terrible to work in because obviously there's just so much going on. So I've just done this incredible job of like componentizing, modularizing everything into like tiny little boxes and it's just the most beautiful condensed file. You can read through it so easily. It means that when I'm hiring and bringing new people into the team, it's not overwhelming for them. They can just literally like come straight in. So yeah, feeling really good today. It's just a little bit of like a cleanse day, like before I jump into a meeting, my next meeting in an hour. It's now midday, day's going well. Had a great angel meeting, refactoring is going well, everything's getting nice and tidy. And then soon, we're gonna be able to move into these meetings, get the Slack integration hopefully almost ready to go by tonight, maybe by tomorrow. That's maybe a stretch. Otherwise feeling good. Sometimes it's good to just do a bit of groundwork before getting into the week. So one of the big creators I was gonna onboard today, he's pushed back a week just cause he's so busy at work. We're gonna push him back. That's okay. It actually is good cause it gives me time to onboard other people with the Slack stuff. But I still do have another guy in 50 minutes who's onboarding. So that'd be good to go and stoked cause I've got the new OAuth in production. So we're good to go. Also the dev club just had a hundred members, which is pretty sick, pretty awesome. So shout out to you guys. If you're not in the dev club, jump in. Yeah, otherwise we're gonna keep going. We've got another 50 minutes of refactor and then we're gonna jump straight into meetings all afternoon. All right, lunchtime, baby. Let's go. Getting into the comments being like, uh, stoked with the new content type. So yeah, we're bringing out new, new styles every day. 
Nice. All right. Well, can't even walk. What's wrong with me? It's getting so hot out here, though. For anyone that's wondering why I'm even bothering refactoring, because I always talk about this like moving forward and like getting stuff done. Sometimes it's good to just clean up your workspace, kind of like cleaning a room, and then all of a sudden you're like mentally ready to keep going. That's how it feels right now, because the way I've had it, it's just been too messy to even work inside, and I knew, but if a dev came in from outside, it would just be like impossible for them to even get going. So, do the, do the clean work. Okay, so the way that I originally had the dashboard edit layout, it was like a grid and there were like five or seven columns and then the dashboard like navigation was one of those columns or two of them. Just didn't really make sense. I don't know why I did that. It must have just been like I was under pressure and I just wanted to like get a layout going. But anyway, we've changed that completely. It's now got a fixed layout. So it's gonna be super beautiful, super nice. Have a different color, standout contrast from the rest. All the actual tabs inside the dashboard. Anyone that's been inside the dashboard or not, I mean. But all those tabs inside the dashboard will now be their own separate individual component instance and they'll have their own grid. So everything will be like way more modularized, way easier to use. It'll actually be better responsively. So yeah. It's a nice little thing to nerd out on as a dev and all the devs know that when things are tidy and they're componentized and componentized, componentized? What even is that word? You guys know what I mean. Keep things tidy. Anyway, let's get some food. You already know where we are. Number one food truck halal in all of New York City. Hands down, baby. This is how the pros order. You ready? Uh, chicken over rice. Chicken over rice. Yeah, the classic. Locals only. Woo! <laughs> so good. guy didn't turn up so we've had one postponed till next week and one guy didn't turn up so yeah great start to the day it just shows things can change all of all of a sudden so oh well i'm going to email everyone who wanted the slack integration and tell them it's going to be ready in two weeks so we're adding a little bit of that extra pressure to ourselves but i also started the slack integration on friday and it was going super well so i've already sent three emails we're going to do a couple more let's see who else needs an email for slack yeah there we go there's another one boom all right we're gonna do that quarter quarter to three and then we've also got to get some paperwork done got a guy that wants to put in a 25k angel which is great a few other angels to talk to this week as well and otherwise we'll just keep moving forward it's an interesting day refactor day a tidy up day talking with people day but also we're making progress and you know what i might see if i can even get out for a run that could finish the day off strong so send some more emails and then we'll go get that paperwork done Another warm day here in New York. All right, so gonna head home. That's some good progress today. We've got a brand new dashboard, super clean, super responsive. Actually looks like a decent dashboard that you would actually wanna use now as a user. So that's pretty cool. Bad luck to walk under a ladder. We're gonna do it anyway. I am not superstitious, so unaffected. <laughs> But what was really interesting is just those couple of people who didn't turn up to the calls. Now one of them, he actually emailed back right away and he was like, hey, uh, it's actually my daughter's birthday today, so that's fine. We're gonna meet up again. We're gonna talk either tomorrow or the next day. We've still got a few calls stacked for the rest of the week. So we'll just see how we go. And hopefully we can get some really good custom results for a few people that are launching these decently sized clubs. So yeah. Let's go, another week. As far as actually like strategy goes and for, for marketing side, I don't just want to stick doing YouTube videos and then the average post here and there online like on other networks. We actually want to get really serious about it. And so this is where Maddie shines really well is we can actually build up this entire content strategy. And we want to make the whole thing feel super organic. Like none of this super polished, like everything looks amazing kind of thing. But 
What we're thinking is do similar to the LinkedIn post that we did the other day, one of those per month, very much storytelling, everything about it is storytelling, walking through what we've done, how we did it, why we did it, and where we're going next, getting people excited, and obviously starting with a hook. We also wanna get the regular shorts going out on like Instagram, potentially even TikTok as well. Just get some like further organic traffic. YouTube, obviously, with the shorts. Maybe start on the short side, I don't know if you know, but definitely on the long form. Just like keeping you guys informed on a tech side. And also for me, when I'm looking at hiring, it's like an amazing pool of people in this audience who I can like pull from and just like find the best people. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Another thing that I'm really, really excited about doing is just these like one-on-one -on -one case studies with specific people that are starting specific clubs on sub and just giving them the best one-to-one -one experience I possibly can. I'm already working with quite a few people right now to try and build out custom features and functionality that they need as a user and I feel like that's almost one of the like hacks to building startups and businesses in general is if you can build for specific people in mind it just streamlines the entire process instead of being super broad and doing all these features and just like guessing you're just building for spe specific people in mind who are telling you exactly what they want so I'm just trying to partner myself with as many of those people right now as I can so yeah when people don't turn up to calls I'm like dang it like I want to hear more about what you want and what you don't want so that's fine Anyway, last thing as well on that, obviously when we give people a really good result, we build these integrations, they start earning, their community's loving it. Like that's an amazing case study for us and another source of organic marketing for the platform on sub. So it's just really important right now that not only are we focusing on organic content, we're doing that regularly, but we're also giving people amazing user experiences as a creator and also someone jumping into the community because that's just gonna push sub further and further. Where's your stick? Get your stick. Get your stick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Have you got it? Have you got it? Oh, that's a good one. Him. Is it almost? Is it almost dinner time? 